Hey you. Yeah, you watching this video? I know about you. What do you think you're doing? Did you really think nobody was going to find out? Really? Well, I think we can all understand the impulse, but it's important for society that we all behave with kindness and respect towards our fellow human beings. And that's the last I'll say about it. Hi there. Good morning. It's, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, it's 6.50 a.m. on Wednesday, June 29th, 2016. Uh, and uh, it, I'm Christiana Ellison. I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, today is both my mom and my dad's birthday. Uh, not the same year, but they do have the same birthday, which is convenient for me because I only have to remember one day. Pretty sweet, right? Um, you know, it's funny just as a total coincidence, um, someone else on a Facebook post in a completely unrelated situation, um, uh, brought up one of my favorite little bits of statistics trivia, which is that you only need to have 23 people in a room for the odds to be 50-50 that two of them will have the same birthday. Um, and I, I just, I love that because it's just so counterintuitive. It seems like while well, there's 365 days, shouldn't you have to have like hundreds of, you know, like over a hundred people for it to be 50-50. And that's, it's because it's a perfect example of how statistics is often counterintuitive. If, for example, you know your birthday and you're trying to calculate the odds that someone else has your birthday, that of course would be 1 in 365, right? Or uh, rather, um, 364 out of 365 chances that uh, they will have a different birthday. And potentially more if you want to toss in a uh, leap year or whatever. But uh, if the you are not pinning which day you're talking about, you are not requiring that someone else have the same birthday as you, and it's any two people can have the same birthday as each other, you do the math and that's how it works. Um, but of course, you know, math and statistics are not, you know, not being intuitive. It's uh, something that a lot of people struggle to understand. Thank God they're not important for everyday life like politics and stuff, huh? Yeah. Started to drink my own hair, which is not recommended. All right, my mom and dad's birthday. That's what I was going to talk about. So, what do you get for your parents on their birthdays? This is, you know, there are certainly times where you feel like, well, gosh, I wish they collected something so that you could just get them another thing in the collection. But then you also, the problem is, if someone is really a hardcore collector of something, then um, the odds are that so you, as a non-expert, might not get them the right thing. You know, it might be like if you were a hardcore Justice League Super Friends action figure collector, and uh, you're all about looking for the rare figures mint in box with high collector value, and you want to display them just right, and your mom wanting to be helpful well this is a completely hypothetical example by the way um wanting to be helpful sees an old red tornado figure in the bottom of a box of toys at a garage sale and and wants to say this is this is your present because you like those things right 
it's not going to be at all the same. Although red tomato tornado is not a good example because odds are that those are not super common. But at the same time, opened in the bottle, bottom of a bunch of other toys, probably not in good shape. So the key is just like, well, what do you get them? And then it's also possible, too, that the collection is really just, it kind of becomes a thing. Like someone sees, oh, you have this cute little frog statue. Well, here, I'll get you another frog statue. And then someone else says, oh, you have two frog statues. You must like frog statues. Here's another frog statue. And then pretty soon you have a collection because you you don't feel like telling people that you actually just really liked the first frog statue and that was it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, it uh, it's... Buying gifts for loved ones can be hard. It's almost like you have to really listen and pay attention to what things they like and like to talk about. Who has time for that, right? All right. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday, Mom and Dad. And uh, for all of you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.